Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, a man's appeared in court charged with the murder of a Glasgow shopkeeper. Tanvir Ahmed from Bradford was accused of killing Assad Shah outside his shop on Thursday night. Mr Shah's death is being treated as a religiously prejudiced attack. Our reporter, Assad Bey, is in Glasgow. That's right, John. 32-year-old Tanvir Ahmed appeared in private in front of Glasgow Sheriff Court today. He entered no plea and no further details were given about the charges. However, he was remanded in custody and will be appearing for a full committal hearing next week. Now, this death has shaken and shocked the community here. The 40-year-old shopkeeper, described as much loved and popular, was attacked outside his premises on the south side of Glasgow early on Thursday evening. In fact, hours before his death, he posted a message on Facebook, wishing his friends a very happy Easter, especially my beloved Christian nation, he said. Now, there's been a huge outpouring of grief here with two vigils held over the weekend and a fundraising page that's a attracted almost 5,000 donations, raising more than £95,000 for the family. Mr Shah was from the Ahmadiyya community, which identifies itself as a Muslim movement. Now, police here are describing this as a religiously prejudiced attack. Earlier today, I spoke to the leader of the Ahmadiyya community here in Scotland, who says the violent death has shocked him. I think we, we are deeply shocked and disturbed and uh, we were not expecting uh, this type of action against our com community member in, in this country. Although we hear the news uh, almost every two, three times in a month that something has happened in Pakistan or some other, you know, the countries where Ahmadis are being persecuted, but we never expected that this will happen here in Scotland. Tomorrow, there will be a multi-faith show force here in what leaders say is the first of its kind. Catholics, Protestants, Sunnis, Shias and Ahmadiyya will be sitting side by side to condemn this horrific incident. Thanks, Asad, in uh, Glasgow.